So we're going to do some roof inspection, some low slope Geico roof inspection. And we're in the attic right now, and you can see I still have my blue tarps here, a couple of them, no, three of them at least. I think three of them, maybe only two. So one of these days I need to pull these out and um, fold them up. They're huge though, so they're going to be fun to get out. But we're in the attic, so we're going to go up our opening here, and we have our sunglasses on because it's bright up here and hopefully you can see I don't know I can't see very good but I got my sunglasses on so right away I noticed this so right here these are the things we want to look out for you know any place where there's too much wood movement causing a fracture starting the other thing I like to look out for is any where we have aluminum on the Geico like we put screws down to hold everything, but sometimes like right here, you see that move? So maybe I should put another screw in there to hold that more stable. So, and along this edge, so this is all like an aluminum edge here. And then this is the aluminum drip edge here. So you wanna check all these spots. If it's, if it's too, if there's getting a line, a fracture line there, and maybe this isn't stable enough, you need more screws. Actually, here's an example. I don't like the looks of this one, you see that? So I think what I'm gonna do is put another screw right there and then Geico tape that again. And then out there I see a little spot too. And you can see how high up we are. We're, we're way up in the air, so I'm gonna actually step out and get on the roof here. Now here's another thing we have to look out for. So you see right here, bare metal there. Now, I don't know if the squirrels like to mess with us and pull some of this off. Now, here's a seam I had done before. And this seam, this seam's looking good. I don't see any spots there. I don't like the looks of that right there, so we're going to do a little bit more on that. And there's probably more spots, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time. But, um, I mean, I'll spend more time up here, but not videotape. Oh, here is a bad spot right here. You see that? I mean, I don't know if water's getting in there, but I'm going to brush that off and Geico tape that again. Same here. Maybe I need another screw right there because it feels a little loose right there. Oh, and then here's a bad corner. So right there, we need a good chunk of Geico tape. So too much movement in the house caused that probably or just the structure itself. Now here's a spot. I don't like the looks of that. It looks a little crease there, so I want more Geico tape there. And along there, I see some spots there too. Now these might not leak, you know, because water's running down like this, but I just don't like the looks of that. So I'd rather put another screw there, fresh Geico tape. Now here's a spot that I don't know if it's the squirrels or birds, but I think somebody's messing with us at times. Now along here, okay, now this is a spot that I've been doing and now this one looks more cracked, so I might actually put a screw in here and then definitely Geico tape this. So these are the things we're looking for. This roof was a lot of work, so if there's any thing we can do you know we want to keep up with the maintenance of it now this Geico overall does last a long time but when you got all these seams and stuff that's where it can happen like this is now this seam here this is where two plywood sheets are so you have half inch really good plywood underneath here with the Geico on top now these seams now some of this might be our fault you know like maybe we didn't put enough Geico tape on originally but um, so, so I think, and, and in, initially I don't think I used enough screws either. So, so we got two factors, but now that we're getting more experience with this, you know, we can catch up with these things before any more damage is done or before any damage is done. And then maybe in a couple years, I might get a couple five gallons of it, clean this whole roof off and gakel the whole thing. So it'll be like a fresh coat on top, which was my initial plan anyways, to get two coats on and 
get caught up on some other stuff and then do some more. I don't really like the looks of that one either. Now I have the Geico tape with me now because I opened up a fresh gallon. So this is what we're going to be using after I, I like to brush everything off that needs to be or scrape it off. And then this is the Geico tape. So this is the Geico with neoprene ground into it or particles in it. So it really has a better lasting power to it and just more volume. So that's what I'm going to be using today. Now, sometimes in the past, what I've done is come up here with just a silicone, a tube of silicone because I didn't want to open up a whole gallon to use just a couple little spots. So that's the other alternative you had since it is silicone so silicone will stick to silicone just brush it off or scrape it off you know anything will to scrape it clean so you have a fresh you know fairly you know your fingernail will do it even you can see that right there I suppose a wire brush would work better too or probably fine I haven't tried that yet but it seems like it would okay so I'm gonna get inspecting cleaning it off and geco taping see how our tree is looking really nice good and healthy oh also look at this it has these little guys on this year if I remember correctly they're only they, every three years it produces a like a knot like this but I have noticed that See, this branch is producing it, but if you look over there, well, yeah, I do see some over there. Some years I've seen them in areas and then not in other areas. So it looks like it's producing them. I don't remember when they come off, but you can see how beautiful the leaves are. And then here's the other thing we have to inspect at times is to make sure these are fine. Oh, I don't like the looks of that. That came off. So I probably will have to come up with a lift and bring a new one up with me. So yeah, keep an eye on things. Well, it turns out I have two on there, so it's not coming off yet. It's just that the top one came off. So next time I have a lift out here, I should bring maybe two more up and have three on there. So if one breaks, I have a backup. Okay. Let's get inspecting and get Geico taping and get everything patched up. It shouldn't take very long. I'd figure about 20 minutes at the most, maybe less, but I'm going to take my time.